All right, time now to talk about news out of Washington. And joining us this morning is Alabama Congressman for the 6th District, Gary Palmer, uh, in town this week for some town hall meetings. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Janice. Good to see you. You were in Helena last night. I was. Uh, and then a couple other places earlier in the week. Yeah, I've been uh, all over the district and all over the state since I've been here. Well, what are you hearing from, from folks uh, in your district? Well, mostly uh, people are pleased with what we've done. Uh, they like the tax uh, cuts. They like the fact the economy is growing. People are, are working, and uh, I think people are pretty satisfied. I think they're tired of the turmoil in Washington, uh, and, and I, you could add me to that list. <laughs> Well, let's talk about that. I think people do, and you hear this a lot, uh, people are living their lives. They're working. No. They're taking care of their children, uh, taking care of their families, uh, doing what they need to do, and then they hear all the turmoil that they may not be experiencing themselves. Talk about that for a moment. How do we, uh, how do, we do, do that and we'll see what's going on in Washington? Well, I get asked all the time, you know, about that, particularly um, within the uh, House of Representatives and within Congress. And the thing that I point out is, well, hold on a second. Uh, we have passed, particularly in the House, we have passed major legislation. So there has, obviously there's cooperation. We eventually get to a solution. We did it on 16 Congressional Review Acts that, that, that dealt with uh, um, burdensome regulations. We did it with the health care bill, which we passed in the House. Uh, we did it with the uh, reform of the Dodd-Frank uh, law, which that was a huge undertaking, and then we did it with tax reform. Plus, we, we passed another 600 bills that have gone over to the Senate and are, are sitting in a drawer somewhere. I don't know what's happened to them. Do you feel like that list of things you just uh, listed does not get talked about a lot in the news because there is so much going on? Um, I mean, it's, it's out there every day. Uh, Senator John McCain passes away. It's, uh, mm -hmm. a, you know, there's problems with the president, whether he speaks about the president, whether he speaks about John McCain or not. And that seems to have dominated the news. Tell me your thoughts on that. Well, that's, uh, you know, the old saying in the news is, if it bleeds, it leads. Uh, there's not a, it's not uh, really a controversial thing to talk about how well things are going. You've got to find something controversial to talk about. And I'm not saying you, but just the media in general. And uh, I think the media, uh, uh, particularly the national media, keep things stirred up. And it distracts from, from the good that, that's going on. And you think about what's going on now, people are, are they're paying uh, lower taxes, they're getting paid more in their wages, uh, their kids are coming out of school and, and able to get a job. We're moving in the right direction. There's a whole lot more that needs to be done, and, and we'll continue to, uh, to do it. But, but the other things are, are what capture people's attention. Let's talk about uh, the story developing around Senator Jeff Sessions, or former Senator Jeff Sessions, no. now Attorney General. Um, the President continues to say things about him that are unflattering, um, and he has stayed quiet. What can you tell us about that whole dynamic of what's going on right now? Well, I don't think uh, you will be able to truly determine how well uh, uh, Attorney General Sessions has done his job until years after he's left. There are other things going on at the Department of Justice that uh, other investigations going on and, and one of the ways that, that I, uh, that give me confidence in what Attorney General Sessions is doing is there are no leaks. And so that's why we don't hear about the investigations. That's why you don't hear about it and he doesn't get out and hold a press conference and talk about it. What can you tell us about those? I know you said you can't go into a lot of detail, but uh, what do the American people need to be concerned about, if anything? Well, I, th I think um, when the final word is written in this story, it's not going to re reflect well on the FBI and, and others in, in, uh, in uh, the government, particularly in the past administration. All right, that will be the final word. I, I know you said you couldn't go into detail on that, but I did want to broach the subject at least. And uh, I'm glad you came by this morning. Good to see you. Safe travel back to Washington. Thanks. Good to be here, right. Janice. Congressman Gary Palmer. Good to see you.